So I just got my thing out, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna put the battery in. I just got the batteries. I'm not finna, um, finna dollar. Then you can see all of that. So, yeah. I'm finna. <laughs> you gotta let me subscribe and pick up the camera in a minute. You know what I'm saying? What's going on YouTube? I'm back here with another banger, you feel me? I know y'all see the quality 10 times better. The quality is literally amazing right now. I got a new camera, everything, so the quality finna be amazing, you know what I'm saying? I'm just telling y'all, you know what I'm saying? It's amazing. Everybody been asking me how I started my clothing brand. How did I make my clothing brand successful at the age of 15? Even how I got money for samples on my first job. 15, I can't get a job. People been asking me like crazy, crazy. How'd you start your brand? People ask me how I started my brand all the time. So now I'm finna tell y'all, you know what I'm saying? You be doing some outside vlog. Make sure I just hit that like button, subscribe. New content on the way. I'm gonna start posting consistently. Hit that like button and subscribe. Now I'm gonna tell you how, you know what I'm saying, how it all started, when it all started. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. All right, so. Boom, August 1st, I get the idea of wanting to start a clothing brand with my boy. I'm gonna start a clothing brand. We seen other people blowing up on TikTok. So I'm like, yo, let's start a clothing brand. You know what I'm saying? I finished everything. I kid you not, I finished everything the first week. It was August 1st, 2022. Last year, last summer. So we had no school. So I'm like, yo, let's start a clothing brand. I can stay up all night working this. So I was working on it all night. It was really like, literally, I was so happy to make a clothing brand. I was so happy to do everything. I finished the wet first night. I finished my website. You know what I'm saying? I got all of that. I got the name statement from my boy he came up with the name statement because like i'm always like wanted to like make something for myself you know what i'm saying i was like bro we gotta have a meaning behind it so i'm like yo hey what's like something that could be with you but like a good name and my boy says statement i knew i, I thought it was straight trash i thought statement literally sucked like the name was horrible you know what i'm saying i didn't like it so i was like yo that sucks i ain't gonna cop you know what i'm saying he was like bro trust me just cook up you know what i'm saying make a design just cook up because as y'all know i'm a graphic designer and everything so yeah it was supposed to be me and my man supposed to we started this one one of the things was money how was i gonna get money how how the how was i gonna get money to start because i'm like a self-learner i wasn't worried about starting my brand or nothing i wasn't worried about that i was just worried about money and taxes that's the only thing i was worried about because i'm a graphic designer i have no money and i just i'm a graphic designer right so on the side like as a side hustle you know what i'm saying i was people will come to me and pay me you know what i'm saying to make thumbnails banners everything for them so i already knew how to design i was getting the money that i was making was from my design and my sneakers sneaker reselling because everybody knows i was a sneaker reseller i love shoes bro i got a good collection i can show you right here i love shoes they not set up right now but i got yeezys i got 350s i got 700s i love shoes so i was like why not be a sneaker reseller so i started reselling shoes and that gave me more money to start my clothing brand you know what i'm saying and i used the money that i was getting from my designing and i used that towards my clothing brand you know what i'm saying because i wanted to invest and also my boy he's oh he was ordering me so he had a job so he was just putting in money at that time too that's why money was kind of a problem but was it really a problem because i had like a few hundred dollars i had like 200 to 300 at the time at 15 from designing because i'm a really good designer a lot of people come to me that's how i was getting my money to pay for everything well, how i was making my clothes it was really bad when i first started because i was using a print and press where basically where you gotta take the vinyl and you gotta uh you gotta take the vinyl and heat press it don't ever do that please don't if you have a clothing brand don't ever use vinyl don't i promise you bro i was tired i was making hoodies everywhere bro so yeah i was making samples the blanks sucked. I was using Gildan. My first drop was horrible. I hated it, bro. So, yeah, me and my boy, we get the idea. You know what I'm saying? Everything. How are we going to make it? We use using printer press. Don't use that. You know what I'm saying? It sucks. We got everything down. And it's time to drop now, right? Everything's down. We got how we're going to make our hoodies. We got the money. We wasn't getting no samples, no manufacturing. This was before manufacturers, before I found out what a manufacturer was. I was scared to use a manufacturer because I didn't have enough money for both. But that's a whole other story. So, yeah, I didn't want to use a manufacturer because I had it downstairs in my basement. I could just print and press it on which was horrible don't ever do that i'm telling you don't ever do that now it's time to drop we did everything we was promoting tiktok tiktok was getting 100 views i'm telling you like it we was not literally down bad bro no views as always as we first start no views but i just wanted to keep pushing keep pushing and before we dropped my boy gonna say i don't want to do this no more we don't got everything set up we got our hoodie set up we've been marketing for weeks weeks as soon as we drop I don't want to do it no more. 
And you know, he's ordered to me. He got all the money. So he's paying for everything. No, not paying for everything. I'm paying for stuff. But like, he's really helping me financially to really get there. Because I could really do it myself, but like, I don't really have money. You know what I'm saying? Because as a teenager. So he's basically the wallets. I'm basically the designs. Everything I'm marketing. He tells me he doesn't want to do it no more. And I'm just like, dang. I'm like, bro, me and you, we were supposed to go up. You know what I'm saying? We were supposed to go with my brand. But it was early. We were seeing no process. You know what I'm saying? So he, he wanted to get out. But I have faith in it. I have faith in it because I wanted to do it. And I really wanted to do it. If you put your mind to it, you could do it. That's why I wanted to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew the outcome would be this. The outcome would be higher. And I'm going for higher. So I was like, nah, I'm finna keep doing this. You you tripping for leaving. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you tripping? I'm gonna keep doing this. So yeah, I dropped. And I kid you not, the only person I ordered that day was my girlfriend at the time. Literally. My only order that day, I, the first day I dropped, the only order, I was like, everybody starts from somewhere, so I had zero orders. First drop, I had dropped some hoodies. They suck, double S, y'all can see it on the screen right now. Horribly, I hated them, I don't like them now, I don't know why anybody bought them. But yeah, and I was doing pre-order, so I was, I would have the drop open for a week. So the first, I dropped it on Monday, August 22nd, that's my first drop, 3 p.m. Eastern, was my first drop. Like, I was scared, you know what I'm saying? It was my first time, and I didn't know if I was gonna get any orders. I was like, the second, the third day, I'm promoting, I'm like, yo, this not getting no views it's not going nowhere you know what i'm saying i have one order still monday monday tuesday wednesday so that's three to four days and i had no orders and then i got the perfect idea i'm like maybe it's just the hoodies the design sucks nobody wants them and then i made some t-shirts i made some t-shirts like i took some inspiration from some other people my first hoodie wasn't really like a y2k with like stars or anything it was really just original not original but like it was bad but it was at least original you know what i'm saying so i added my t-shirts to the drop that was like as soon as i added my t-shirts two i get like two to three orders bro one day i'm like yo i was really like i was really happy bro i ain't even gonna cap i was happy i got my three orders so i got four orders now you know what i'm saying at four orders my first job i was happy you know what i'm saying i got some money i was really flexing on bro you know what i'm saying i was like yo i could really do this you know what i'm saying meanwhile i made like 50 dollars off this you know what i'm saying i was hey i was happy with my little 50 dollars. i think the end of the week i had ended out with like 10 to 15 orders on my first drop literally my first drop 10 to 15 orders because of the t-shirts and some people ordered the hoodies you know what i'm saying but yeah that was my first job i had like 50 50 followers on Instagram, bro. I was out hey, I was just happy, bro. I got some orders, so yeah. And then I I just kept dropping. Like every day I was dropping something new. And I was I realized that like later that I'm like, bro, I really shouldn't be dropping all this in one month. I did I think I did five drops in one month, bro. I'm like, bro, that is bad. Because I'm just dropping brand new. I'm just dropping new designs that really suck for horrible quality. Like every week. Every week I was coming up with a new drop, bro. That was my thing. I'm like, back then I was like, yo, I'm finna drop every week, new drop, new clothes every week. That was horrible. Literally, I got no sales on none of them. My first drop, I got, I got like 12 sales. My second drop, I got like two. Like, bro, it was just going bad for like August till November. It was like really until November where I stopped dropping like weekly, bro. Because I was really dropping weekly for like three months straight or two months straight. You know what I'm saying? So November comes, I'm dropping, you know what I'm saying? It's just going it's all right, bro. I'm in my basement, every, waking up, going to school, getting a few orders. I liked, I messed with it. I was enjoying it while I was going on, making my own shirts like in hand. It was a good experience. I was learning new things on the way, but I just really, I got tired of it. Bro. I got tired of making stuff, dropping stuff every week, always in my basement, making some new clothes. You know what I'm saying? I liked the grind. The grind was good until I get here, but I was just learning off of learning off learning. I also was going through it because I was realizing like every L that I took was just a lesson. Every L, I just look at it as a lesson. So that's how I really just be uh just moving on. I don't look at things as like, oh, you took an L, hold that. I look at this as a lesson. I br I bounce back harder, bro. So every drop, I was just bounce back in harder. If one drop, if one thing didn't work, I would test a new thing on another one. So that's how I was just doing for like three months straight. The videos was going well, well, well. I think I got one viral TikTok video. It wasn't really viral. It got like 10K views, but that brought my following up a little bit more. So it was just going progressively up slowly. I really, I messed with seeing like the whole timeline, like looking back from back now, back then, to the back now it's just crazy how we jumped so fast it's been seven months it's crazy how we got here so fast and so quick and then november comes november is when my first not big drop but like 20 to 30 order drop you know what i'm saying that was the most uh orders i ever had when i dropped my do it for you hoodie the quality was horrible, but I liked the design. I even thought about dropping a V2 with like a manufacturing stuff because I wasn't personally making them in my basement. I was making them with the vinyl puff print. It was horrible. It's literally cracking. Like my family members got that one because that was when I was starting to like expand my brand more and telling everybody about my brand. So yeah, I was getting a 
lot of orders that I had to do it for you. My sister, I, I, my sister still wears it. The quality is horrible, but it's still tough. Honestly, I'm gonna show y'all mine that I have because I think I still have a piece right here. Oh yeah, these is the old draw. Bro, this hoodie literally sucks. Like, let, let's just evaluate this real quick. You know what I'm saying? This is one of the first OG drops, bro. First drop. Look at the quality. The quality sucks. No tag, no nothing. Like, this is a flimsy hoodie, bro. This is gilding. Literally gilding. I made this on a print. You know what I'm saying? I made this on a print and press. And I just, you know what I'm saying? It's cool and all, but it ain't better than what I what I recently just dropped. Though. Let me just compare it real quick. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I just dropped this. Like, we came a far away, bro. Let me put it side to side. Hold on. So, yeah, we went from, you know what I'm saying? This is literally, like, flimsy, bro. Y'all see that quality? This... You know what I'm saying? Manufactured. Look at the just amazing. It's crazy how we this is how far we came, bro. And then we got crop bottoms, you know what I'm saying? Side pockets. I'm telling y'all, it's just amazing. The new the new quality is literally just tough. You're from gilding to this. You know what I'm saying? Which is pretty impressive if you ask me. You know what I'm saying? It's really hard. This is the black colorway too as well. But yeah, let's get back to this uh journey. So yeah, these were the hoodies that I dropped in November. Uh I think if these are the hoodies, the do it for you hoodies with the little puff print on the top. The puff print sucks. I know y'all see that it's literally crackling. Literally Literally crack. This is vinyl, bro. It's not even puff. But yeah, I ain't gonna bring it. But it says, do it for you. My first drop, my first collection. I had this one, a blue one. And I think I had a red one, but I didn't have enough money for that, Sam. Oh, yeah. I didn't have enough money for a $20 red blank hoodie, bro. I was really just working with what I had, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm telling you, that was when I really started, uh, like, taking pictures. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I can show you like, it right now. That was the first one, like, on Instagram that really looked good. Because these pictures was good. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all seen them pictures. I know it's hard to see, but these are the pictures I took. It was kind of, it was all right, but... Yeah, I got a few hundred likes on Instagram because everybody reposted it because the pictures was amazing. People started like seeing, oh, he's really for real about this once I once I started taking those pictures because I was just posting mock-ups. Like I was posting like on, on drop days before that, I would just post the picture from my computer. So literally a huge upgrade run from the pictures on the computer to real life. So they started messing with me more. So that's how I got like 20 orders on that one. I think it was like 15 to 20. I was happy. You know what I'm saying? I was still happy. So yeah, that was November. That was before my Halloween drop. And then here comes the Halloween drop. Now my Halloween drop, I really like my Halloween drop. I post, I got a black one and a gray one. It was good. I liked it. It was personally good. Those are my favorite hoodies. I might redrop them with a V2. But yeah, it was a black and white one and a gray and white one. I think I have it in my closet, but I ain't trying to go over there right now. Good, I started taking pictures on those too. So this is my really second drop from really after learning a lot from the ones that suck, you know what I'm saying? The first two to three sucked because I was dropping every week new clothes. I don't even count those as drops, you know what I'm saying? That's how bad they were. First one or two, three, but I was just learning, learning, and learning how to really do this, how to really make the max money off of this. So I was posting pictures on Instagram. I ran ads, my first time running ads. It did, it did all right. I'm saying I made a few, I think I made like $500 off of that in total. So I probably made 200 profit. I'm losing money, we care because I'm reinvesting all of my money into my brand. So I wasn't really keeping any money to myself because I, I had no other source of income other than reselling and doing shoes. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just literally trying to build this up from the ground up. Because I knew that in the long term, it'll be it's a good long term. That's why I'm really working on this. I know I could do amazing with this because I, I'm just really dedicated. And I know if you be dedicated, then you're good, bro. I'm telling you, if you if you put your mind into something and manifest and work hard towards that, I'm telling you, you good. You're going to get what you want, bro. I'm telling you, just keep working hard and hard and hard, bro. You're going to see them bad days. I know you're going to see them bad days bro because i had bad months bro months bro bad months i'm not saying oh i'm all this now i'm just saying bro i I've, I've been there too bro i've had order drops i had zero bro zero and i had to delete the post off of instagram because you know what i'm saying nobody caught so yeah i'm just saying that everybody starts the same bro if you starting a brand right now i'm telling you lock in bro lock in it's a good time to start everybody on social media just be original and don't try to copy anybody other designs because if you copy anybody other designs then you're not going to be you know what i'm saying welcomed not the not, not welcomed in the community but people gonna see you as oh he's just copying other people's designs i got a few clothing brand owner friends because and i be learning from them you know what i'm saying i learned from other clothing brand owners that's how clothing brand owners get up so yeah so boom i dropped my halloween hoodies they do a look i can show y'all here right now hold on i don't know if i have them oh yeah and if y'all are wondering these are the og hoodies i got them right here all the og hoodies right here this is the og statement hoodie with that double s on the back i was talking about it literally sucks i i, I personally think it sucks uh but i don't know if i have my halloween ones yeah 
I don't think I have my Halloween ones. They were all right. I like the design. I would literally, I would seriously drop them again. If, you know what I'm saying? I would drop them again with a manufacturer and not making them myself because I don't know why I made hoodies myself. Don't ever make hoodies yourself. So yeah, that, that my Halloween collection did good. I could show you all my uh, marketing on Instagram. I'm gonna show you what, I, cause I have all of my old ones on Instagram, but I was just, I just kept taking pictures. I kept taking stuff from my old drops and I kept taking pictures. I was just taking pictures that looked good because look, this, this is amazing. I like these hoodies, but the quality was horrible. I'm telling you, these was peeling off. I had, this is my first time, first TikTok drop that actually had people from a lot around the world cop from TikTok. So yeah, this is my this is when my TikTok was going up there. So yeah, I have people around a word in my TikTok. My TikTok comments, yo, it's peeling, it's peeling. What do I do? It's peeling, bro. So I, I I don't know. I didn't know what to do. And I had a lot of chargebacks. I had a lot of people refunding a lot of people because their stuff was peeling. So yeah, that was my uh really downfall. Like the, I was getting more recognition, but like at the same time the quality was bad. So I didn't really. Well, it was really a win win, but like. I didn't want to be known for my quality. I got that drop over with as fast as I could, but it did, it did well. My do it for you did well, and then boom, here comes December. So I wanted to drop these full zips, but they looked like everybody. They were like a babe clone. I ain't even gonna care. They looked like babe hoodies. I ain't even gonna lie. So, but it had stars all over them. It's on the screen if I could find the picture, but I wanted to drop that for December. A good hoodie, you know what I'm saying? First time with a manufacturer, I wanted to drop, but I had no money. I had no money from the drops because I was just reinvesting into the brand. So I really was just working with a few dollars bro so i got the bright idea because I, I didn't have enough money for my sample my sample was like 270 but i only had like 80 dollars bro but at the time the beanies the mia culpa beanies were taken off so i'm like yo why don't i just make beanies use the money from that beanie drop to buy a sample that's exactly what i did bro for december instead of dropping the hoodies i dropped the beanies because i knew the beanies was gonna go well because everybody liked the beanies everybody liked the colorways and it was december so it was a perfect time for the beanies literally the beanies to come out i made the design same day sent it to a manufacturer boom got the hood i got the sample started promoting crazy first time really my job was really went well on tiktok i think that was the job i made a thousand off so yeah y'all seen y'all can see go see the videos back then on my youtube YouTube, I made a video about that drop as well in the, back in December. I made a thousand dollars in one day off of that drop. It was amazing. I really liked that. I dropped on December. No, I dropped it a few days before Christmas because everybody was gonna get their Christmas money in cop. I ain't even gonna cop. That's a that's a cheat code. If you drop near Christmas, bro, you gonna get a lot of orders. But if you don't get the orders enough, if you don't get orders on Christmas, then your hoodie just suck. I ain't even gonna cop. But yeah, I was gonna I was gonna orders from TikTok, Snapchat, and then that's when everybody like really started to get on it. Like people that wasn't believing in it was copying the beanies, you know what I'm saying? Cause they knew that was manufactured in good quality cause I was posting it well. I got one, I promoted off the one brown sample that is right there. I promoted off that one sample. And then I had three other colorways, black, purple, and pink. Buy one, get one free, $35 free shipping. Boom, I got those, I got the bulk. I waited a long time for the bulk. The bulk got delayed, I, it was a month. Like, bro, people waited a minute for these because I had no sample. So the, I was just telling the manufacturer the color, but they didn't know the for real color. You know what I'm saying? So say, they got the colors completely wrong. The purple hoodie was like, I think the purple one, this is mid bulk, like after the pre-order. So I already got everybody's order. So I just got to get the beanies. But I, once I got the beanies, the purple was wrong. And this is like a month in, the month in the drop. The purple color was wrong. The brown one was too dark. So, and it looked, it, I'm like, if I was to ship out those beanies, it would, I would've got mad charged, but I would've actually lost so much money that I couldn't afford. Literally, I couldn't ship out those beanies. I started to remake them with the right colorway. People won't get mad and people won't think it's a scam because I can't ship out these good, these horrible purple beanies, but on a website it says, like it's, it's another different color purple if you know what i'm trying to say i was really mad bro because i'm like yo i have all these i have all these people money all these people orders it's been a month they ain't get their order and my manufacturer is just messing up messing up and messing up it just kept getting me mad bro but i learned a lesson from it don't you know what i'm saying make sure to get the samples first that's the lesson i learned make sure to get samples make sure everything is okay because once you start bulk and then you redo bulk that's like another two week process bro so get the samples so you and your manufacturer are on time you know what i'm saying you guys are on the same page make sure you get a sample that was my lesson learned i i always get a sample now so i got my bulk i received the hood all the, the beanies in the right color two months later right I'm, i get the package i'm packing all the orders i realize there's no black in it so i have purple beanies pink beanies brown beanies 
but I don't have black, bro. And a lot of people ordered buy one, get one free. So some people had purple beanies with the black in their order. So I couldn't ship out those orders. Well, I did, I did, I shipped out all the orders, but I couldn't ship out any black beanies because I didn't have the black beanies. They sent them out. They had to remake them because they lost the black beanies. I don't know how you lose black beanies, but they lost the black beanies and then they remade them. Boom, that happened. And I was just so tired of it because I waited two months for my beanies. And I'm like, yo, where's my beanies? I got them. And I'm like, finally, bro. Months later, like a month, a month and a week later, I got the black beanies. I shipped them out again. And then boom, that's where my new gray hoodie comes in that you see me wearing right now. But it's not the gray one. I dropped the gray one first. After the beanie drop, I'm over here like, yo, all right, I got to come back stronger. That drop did all right. I did 1K. I got to come back stronger. I want 10K. The goal was really 5k, but I'm like, yo, I gotta get up there. I gotta get up there, bro. So I made the design. The design was in works for months. I, I initially, my first design to this, the first draft was about, I would say, uh, like October, bro. I never dropped it because it was so hard. I couldn't make it myself. So I needed a manufacturer to make it because I went, I was cooking up, bro. But it was like three different versions of this design. And I ended up picking this one because this was like the most like recent one that I had made. Cause I made a lot. I don't know. It was just a lot. And I really took a lot of time into this design, bro. So I made the gray one. It's, I don't know where it's at actually, but it's this hoodie. You know what I'm saying? Got the woven tag, but yeah, I dropped the gray one. I got the gray sample cause I had enough money for the gray sample i only got the gray sample but i wanted to drop colors so i just dropped my gray one dropping my colors if the gray job did well because i was going to use that money to buy samples for my new color sample. boom i'm posting tiktoks right i ship out the beanies i'm posting tiktoks make out mind you i'm all i'm on tiktok through this whole thing consistently every day but yes i had times where i got like 200 views 100 views for weeks bro i had times like that i was i didn't know what was going on so yeah after that boom i'm on tiktok posting every day i drop my gray hoodies bro i'm making two to three videos a day and one of them one of them blows up gets a hundred i think two hundred thousand views before i drop and boom bro that's when it changed my life bro 200,000 my tiktok got 200,000 views a before drop pops not even on i posted one video of a gray hoodie 200,000 views i think it's sitting at 500,000 right now and boom i just kept making videos kept making tiktoks you know what i'm saying literally tiktok 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 kept making tiktok everybody was going to the website signing up and once they once i dropped i emailed them and messaged them boom yo the hoodie's on right now they went to the website and boom that's how i made 10k and that dropped so i was like bro this really could go somewhere I'm like, I'm sitting here thinking and people, I'm in school too. I'm still in school. So I'm going to school, all of this too. I'm packing the orders, sitting on the packages, literally like everything. This was, I think, yeah, this was all the orders I got. This was all the orders I got for my great job, bro. I know y'all see that, bro. These are all the shipping labels. I reprinted them because like, this is like a souvenir, you know what I'm saying? If I want to look at this, I shipped all of these out, bro. All of these out. I think it was like 200 orders, bro. I was so happy. I went from getting 20 to like 10 orders a drop to 200 and just like that. My life changes, like, you know what I'm saying? As I told you, I was waiting. Great one did good. I was gonna drop more colors. So guess what I did? I started promoting differently, crazy. I was posting six posts, bro. Literally, that, that's where I'm at right now. So yeah, I did. I just doubled that. This drop, amazing. Bought this camera. And I'm currently waiting for my bulk right now. By the time I seen this, it's probably it's still in production. But yeah, I'm at that drop. I started promoting differently. I used IG ads. I spent a lot on IG ads, bro. I ain't even gonna cap. And it worked. All my IG ads worked. I know y'all see this. It looks real good, bro. My profile. I was posting every day. I know y'all see that of the new hoodie. Hold on. Oh, I gotta turn down the brightness. I was posting. Hold on, wait. What the? I was posting every day with my new hoodie. I know y'all see that. Hold on. Literally every day I was posting. I was posting IG reels. Everything. Everybody loved it. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm at 2.9K followers. Everybody loved it, bro. I'm telling you, like, this one doubled. It skyrocketed, bro. So, yeah. Basically, that was my journey, bro. I ain't even gonna cap. That was my journey. It's been a long way, bro. Seven months. And... We had, we had six figs, I think. Six figs in seven months, bro. Seven months. And I'm 15. I don't know. I just want to, you know what I'm saying? Just want to let y'all know. I'm telling y'all, bro, like, if you really put your mind in the sun, bro, you could really get it. Because people don't be, people will say they want something. Like, the new owners, if you're a new owner, bro, I'm telling you, just log in and you will get it. 
sooner than later bro consistency is key don't quit bro because god will be testing you bro don't quit so yeah for a lot of people asking i just got for a lot of people asking what's my journey you know what i'm saying that's my journey and uh, yeah a lot of people have been thinking that like i got it i just got two two point nine k off of nothing i'm still going up i want to go up i'm dropping shorts next all all i'm proceeding for is just process and going up and up the scale up the scale up the scale i look i'm probably gonna look back at this video in like in seven months you know what i'm saying seven to six months like yo i really you know what i'm saying i like the manifest you know what i'm saying manifest that i'm gonna do great in the future oh so yeah i'm gonna do good in my next few drops so yeah basically manifestation in tiktok and you good hey, if y'all like that make sure you hit that like button subscribe also comment down below some new uh video ideas because i need some video ideas and some vlogs or something no y'all not getting a buying a track card bro because i can't buy a track card i'm not buying a track card i don't got track card money anymore.